Howdy! I'm Cyber Action. I wondrously crafted. And for four years I've been struggling with this problem. I can't fix it. I was going crazy. I was getting this message that said, Low memory resource pack fail back. And I was like, but I'm on the 3090. I got 48 gigs of RAM. I got NVMe drives. I got, oh, I got memory all over the place. And so I tried and tried for four years to fix this problem. And what happened was, it kept getting worse and worse and worse. The more content I put into Minecraft Bedrock, the worse my textures got. They got uglier and uglier and uglier until the point a cage that should look like this wasn't even visible. You couldn't even see it. I was going crazy. But after 30 hours of working hard at it, I fixed it, and I want to tell you how in things you need to know. Boy, you need to know. I wish I knew back then, but nobody's told me, and I don't think anybody knows. I don't even know if the people at Bojang know. I don't know. Well, I know now. So, we're going to go over really quick, and here's what it comes down to. When you take all your block textures and you put them in your game, those all get taken and put on one big sheet. One big sheet. We call it an atlas, a texture atlas. So you put all of those textures together in one big fancy sheet. It, it just, that's just what you do. That's what the game does in the background. So if you had a thousand textures and those textures were 512 by 512, you would almost be at the limit for the entire game. The entire game has a limit of 268 million pixels for blocks and 268 million pixels for entities and 268 million pixels for items. Each of the atlases the game uses, and you often see atlases, you'll see them in different places, and now you might not realize it, you might not be paying attention, but there's all kinds of places that you'll see it pop up and say, hey, this is an atlas. And one of those places is in the terrain texture file where you define all your block textures, right? So that in there is what's defining and been put into that atlas texture. So all of those get added together and they get put side by side by side by side by side in a big image. And who told me or who put the note in that I want to get credit to this is the RTX Discord. It's Jason's the guy that made the note. He made it August 17, 2022. But the problem is, is I wasn't trying to do RTX. I, I didn't have any concept that it was it has nothing to do with rtx is my point so i never went to the rtx channel and asked them about it they knew the answer but because i wasn't doing any rtx or dealing with it i didn't ask them and they're the only ones that know the answer no one else in any other server anywhere else i've asked in four years had any flipping clue that there was a cap and a, a total on all of the textures so 
it, and it's not documented. I haven't seen it anywhere documented. I haven't seen it in any of the docs. Even in the RTX documents, they say to use a 1024 or higher texture per file. Well, at that texture, at uh, 1024 you can only use 256 textures and rtx requires three or sorry four total textures per block so you just burned you know four of those that means you can only have four to six 60 four to 60 blocks in rtx at that resolution and they're not that's not in the document saying that there's a cap, there's a maximum. So people that are doing the 128 packs can have 16,000 textures. I've only ran into one person that had like five to 6,000 textures, and, and so they've been having this problem. Um, but see, once you get up to 512, then you can only have 1,000 textures, and that's where most people start having this problem. They finally have gotten their 128 packs done. They got a 256 pack done, and now they're saying, performance is wonderful. Why can't we have a 512? Why can't we have a, a 2K? Why can't we have an 8K texture pack? Well, this is the reason why. This is it. It, 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 8K, you, you can't even, it just, it, you can't have like two or something. It's ridiculous. Um, even at the, the 2K mark or, you know, 2048 by 2048, you can only have 64 textures. So you, you really, in essence, want to kind of dump uh, animated blocks. I think that one of the key here things here is that animated block at atlas is just destroying um, your usable space to get that animation. You'd be much better off having that animation be in wherever you have more texture space. So uh, particles or entities. If you're not doing a lot of custom entities, then I would push those animations over to, to the entity side of things. I think it's easier to do on any of these anyways. Um, and so that's one of the things I wanted to get out there. I want to get this out there so you know if you're going to do HD or you're going to do a really big pack, you need to do the math up front so that you know how many textures you can have for the resolution you're trying to do. If you want to do 256 by 256 for the block resolution, for the total texture as the average, and you think you're going to have 5,000 textures, then I'm here to tell you that that's not going to work. And at 4,096 textures, everything's going to stop working for you. And what's going to happen is you're going to load up the game, and your perfectly looking game is now going to be half the resolution that it was when you had 4,095 textures. One texture... Once you go over that limit, one texture is now going to force the entire, all, all textures to be downgraded. And then the more you add into the game, once you get this air, will downgrade the quality of every texture. And the problem is the textures that are like 16 by 16, well, once you divide them by four, there's only four pixels there that's why the cage is almost gone because by the time you start dividing and dividing and reducing and reducing there's not enough detail left to have anything i mean the torch the vanilla torch um has nothing you can't see it the chain has nothing they don't even show up but once you solve this problem and you stay within that boundary everything shows up and it looks beautiful and perfect now, granted, what I ended up doing is I downgraded all of my textures that are single block textures. So it's one texture that goes across a whole block. Then I downgraded those to 256. I think 128 to 256 is a really good place for 99% of HD people. Moving to 512 is nice but i don't really think in most cases you can really tell um the quality does look nicer but you're you're wasting so much of that space 
um, that I just don't think it's worth it. You have to get really close to be able to see the difference. If you're just standing, you know, three blocks back, it, it, everything looks perfect anyways. Um, and so I think that really you need to be at the 128 to 256 if you're going to be doing a big project. And you need to be aware of this because this is really a hard limit. Once you hit this limit, it's going to be heartbreaking if you have to go back and cut things um, because you weren't paying attention to it. So there it is. That's the big, the big uh, thing you need to know. Um, you have to be aware of this if you're doing anything... Uh, large projects if you're doing anything HD I wish I knew this a long time ago because it's been damaging my pack quality and I've been taking pictures and video and doing guides with this quality for four years now um, because I went over this right off the bat with some animated textures just instantly I was way over um, when I did my check I was at 3.5 billion pixels just for blocks and the one of the issues is you know with rtx you would take what your normal number is and in essence times it by four so if i have one billion pixels of normal textures and i want to add rtx well now that's four billion pixels so you know if you really want to do rtx then you really you have to take this total space and cut it by four to or you know take these numbers and say oh well if i'm going to do 256 by 256 in rtx then i'm actually only going to get a thousand textures out of here and the other three thousand are going to be the mirror file um and those other three files because in a lot of cases those need to be the same resolution as the main file you can't cut the resolution on you know the height map and some of that stuff or you're going to lose the detail so rtx is really holding you you know you back in a lot of cases to try to get all of those files in there it might also be worth not including all of the files having a mer file and having um you know all of the different things if you don't need it you really shouldn't be including it in previously i was just including everything in because why not i didn't know about this limit my performance has been great so it, it this limit is really frustrating since i wasn't having any issues other than it was just downgrading the quality so that's all i've got for today thank you to the uh, people at the RTX uh, channel, um, I, especially the one that brought this up was Mad Lab. Really, thanks to them. Um, you know, I've asked this everywhere. I've posted it everywhere. Uh, I posted it on um, Mojang on Jira. You can see that this has been open for a long time. There's 74 votes and 47 people watching this issue. It's been open for like more than a year. Um, these tickets go way back. And yet even Mojang doesn't know. Like there's no comments in here saying anything. Everybody in the comments down below are all talking about RAM, which is what I thought too. I thought this was uh, either system memory or GPU memory. And, but I got a 3090 with 24 gigs. Like I've never gotten close to maxing it out in Minecraft. And yet I'm getting these messages. And if you scroll through here, nobody gives any hints. Like nobody has a clue that this is a pixel issue. Um, they all see that, hey, if I reduce and I, if I use a 128, it's fine. But if I use this, it's not fine. But nobody, it's all video RAM, it's all video RAM, it's all, because they say memory. The, the error message needs to be changed. It's completely ridiculous that all of these people, look at this, this is back to 2021. I mean, it, it's just insane that people at Mojang don't even know that this restriction exists. So please pass the word. Please tell your friends and family. If you know someone that's doing development in Bedrock and they're doing a big, big project or they're doing, you know, something um, that you think this would help them, this is something that I, I was ready to give up. This is heartbreaking. 
uh, to run into a point where I just can't add anything and anything more I add to the game breaks everything I've done previously and ruins it to the point where it just doesn't even show up and nobody has any clue for year after year after year about basic limits of the game engine. That's frustrating. And this is not in any document I've seen anywhere. So, yep. I'm CyberX without letters to craft it. If this helped you, please sub to the channel. Please throw some dollars our way. Man, this inflation's kicking our ass. I'm trying to get guides out every day, every few days. But if you want to keep seeing guides, we always need your support. So, thanks. Check out the website. Outlandishlycrafted.com.